everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a shift solenoid or really activate anything within the Holly. Uh, a quick little pin map deal. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about wiring stuff, so here's a quick little tutorial on how I set up the shift solenoid here in the Buick. Uh, we had a few little issues of it not working. We ended up having, we're trying to activate it with uh, the Holly sending the ground and not the power. Uh, so we actually had it on the wrong lug. So now we got it set up. We were sending 12 volt out to the shift solenoid with the Holly, and then the other side of the shift solenoid is grounded. So this is how I set it up in the Holly. Shout out to Justin Martin. When I was down in Lights Out, he uh, showed me how he sets up and tests his shift solenoid. A uh, real cool idea is just using the TPS. We get 30%. You kind of do this with anything in the car. Uh, set at 30% and activate, and then you just roll into the throttle. Once it breaks 30%, it should activate the output. So a real cool way that you don't have to have the car running or go drive it or whatever to try to test this. So this really helps out with trying to like just set stuff up in the garage. So here in the Holly, I went ahead and I'll close this out and then I'll come right back to it. So going to outputs and then as you guys can see right here, I have shift solenoid, shift solenoid, sending 12 volt and then you can come over here and configure. So here in the Holly, uh, you have a few options on how to do stuff. Um, input triggers, linked outputs, timer. You can do stuff off of like switches that you already have. Um, things like trans brake and all of that. Not using that. So zero there. And then doing and. And then number. Um, so setting up as one. And test this. I'm going to have April go to 30% throttle. Let off. So it would come down in RPM. Go ahead and do it again and then once it breaks RPM again, it would shift. So got everything set up, so all is good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set it up on here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this based on RPM. Find RPM on here. There it is. So RPM above, just to probably test it on the street. First time we'll go like 4,500 RPM and then we'll see what happens. So now that that's all set up, I'm going to go ahead and send it to the ECU. And now that change should be good. So now, when she goes to 30% throttle, it should not activate because it'll actually be looking for our PM signal. Let's go ahead. Yep. So we're good to go. All right, so that's a real quick example of how to set up things. Uh, so this is also how I've set up uh, triggers for like second fuel pumps on the blue novel in the previous videos and stuff like that. Uh, you go off of like PSI of boost, seven pounds of boost, and then whenever it triggers that, it goes and will turn on the pump. Uh, I've also posted that in another video where you guys can see how we tested that as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that at the end of this video if you want to watch that one. So. It's pretty much it, real simple way to control um, and activate certain things with the Holly. Um, planning on doing some more, so stick around. If you guys would, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.